Hey everybody, it's episode 3. And we, we being the people we got to know over the first two episodes, the main people, uh, we're back. Or at least we're going back to the island. Uh, I don't know what's going on. To me, in my head, it's like this billionaire, this Korean billionaire who owns an island. He's bored. Or she, he or she, I think it's he. I think he took off his mask. Um, he only saw the back of his head. He's bored, got nothing to do. He's like, you know what? What if I just round up a bunch of people who are in debt, get them to face off against each other in a battle to the death? How about that? You know, offer them a few million. You know, it's nothing to me. Just enjoy a drink, some music. Now I say pit them against each other in a battle to the death, but technically they weren't against each other in game one. Nobody won or lost because of other people, if you know what I mean. Like obviously somebody could have held somebody back or knocked them over or been shady like, but everybody in that first game could have made it. Literally everybody could have made it through, and I wonder if the games are going to change to be more adversarial or if they're all cooperative or maybe it'll turn into the squid game we learned about in the first few seconds of episode one where there are two forces but uh yeah i'm excited to get into episode two that's sorry episode three game two and i'll see more funny looking colorful rooms and more high stakes games. And hopefully the people we've gotten to know survive for at least a few more games. Don't I can't see them surviving right till the end, you know? You know, happy ending where they all split the money? Where they break down the billionaire's door. They're all faces are all bloody and they're like Gimme your TV. It's cool. So yeah. Episode 1, great start. Episode 2 slowed way the hell down and we got to know everybody. So, episode 3, ramp it back up, please. I'm curious how many people are going to be back. Do they get them all back just because the majority decided to keep going? Or is it only the people who want it back? We'll find out, I presume, within seconds. Also, there's a cop trying to find out what happened to his brother. And uh, that girl, ooh, she held her breath or something. So she might know how they, where they are or how they got there. Or... She's wily, that one. Let's go. Hey, it's still nighttime. Are we still bringing people to the boat and or plane? Oh, cop guy. Won't they know they're being followed, though? Oh, it's a port. Must be one hell of a sedating gas, you know? He's gonna... Is he gonna sneak in? Oh, he should be telling the chief what he's up to, in case he goes missing. Because he could be put put into a game, you know? Kill the cop. It's the next game. Now imagine if he sneaks in, grabs an upper, wins the whole thing. Dude, Korean Ninja Warrior. That's a funny title for a game. Just pretend to be a guard, dude. Just put one on one of those. Yeah, put on one of those. Okay. We want the cop guy set off some sort of alarm. Boop. Punch. He's John McClane, this guy. He's gonna be going through vents and he's gonna grab a machine gun. Oh, what's he gonna do with the body? He must be dead. Okay. I'm just taking, a, taking in the view. I won't meet them. You know how it is, Mr. Triangle. Well, here we are. I like that we get to see the process of bringing them in. Holy. 
Oh, isn't she still awake though? <laughs> she pickpocketed her own stuff back. Do they get their original numbers back? Don't come here. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, 187. Only 14 people didn't come back. Ooh, faction. Yeah, we all work together. Can we get 0012? Yeah. Oh, this guy's thinking that old guy's gonna slow us down. <laughs> oh, he's formed his own group? Of course he is. <laughs> she should start her own team. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. Hello. Oh, don't fall for that stuff, dude. She working you. Great. She just come in to save her or Oh John McLean. What did I tell you? Up into the fence. What, we're, what kind of food we're getting? Hopefully some protein in this? The life threatening game that's about to happen? Oh, are they all gonna be kids games? Yeah, just like Red Light Green Light. This is my favorite room. This guy. Is he gonna find anything in here? Hey, don't be suspicious. Ooh. Oh jeez, they have they have more rules than the the contestants. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm wondering what the the hierarchy is. I think circles are the lowest, triangles are the middle, and based on what she just said, squares are the the highest. And then obviously the, the main guy. Oh, she's trouble. Oh, every now that we can all go. We we all go. Yeah, she's the annoying one. Oh, you're being watched, dude. Who's watching them? Bunch of squares? She gone up into the vent? Gonna have a look around? Yeah, just say you have diarrhea or something. <laughs> oh, sounds like she's taking a really big dump. So that's okay. Meanwhile, Triangle Man's like, I'm just gonna ignore all those noises that I just heard. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, don't be a perv, dude. Yeah, Circle, did I tell you you could stop stirring? Do you know who I am? I'm Mr. Square, dude. Uh -oh. I feel sorry for that guy. Oh, you know, he knows. Are there any games involving sugar? From your childhood? That's quick. You gotta be suspicious about everything you're eating and drinking too. They can drug it, they can do anything with it. He's only a circle, he can't break the rules for you. Oh, 
Oh, they're building a little father-son bond here. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, message? Oh, they didn't... No subtitles for that? That was mysterious. I don't know like a playpen. I like the this forced perspective there. <laughs> it's just like when we were kids. You know? Should we all pick the same one? Oh, umbrella! Pick the umbrella one. It's the name of the, the episode. Always remember in a game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. What do you know? We should all pick the same one. Or maybe that's exactly what we shouldn't do. Okay. Maybe they're gonna like kill everybody underneath one of the things. Ah, Dongurami. Oh shit, I don't, have, I don't have a good feeling about the umbrella anymore. Hey, hey, anything you should tell me? She gonna follow him? Okay, here we go. Can I open it? Is it chocolate? That's in the case. Honey gum. What does it mean? What? Ten minutes, shit. Just had to pause it a bit. But uh, we're good to go again. Anyway, yeah. I'd be dead on this game, wouldn't I? I was like, pick the umbrella. But uh, that was because the name of the, the episode had umbrella in it. So I was like, oh, that might be a, that may, might be a clue. I'll just go with the title. Middle note. Next time, don't go with the title. Also, we should have all stuck together and gone for whatever the super genius guy picked imagine trying to get out a little little umbrella it's going to be really tricky in 10 minutes with a little pin like do you, do you do tick 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 or do you try and slice it oh this guy has shaky hands come on zero zero one come on come on i'm trying to think of a clever way to do it like is there any any shapes around here like that we can, you know, like a metal umbrella. Does somebody die the instant, somebody gets shot the instant they break the... Oh, it's broken! Dude, I don't know you, you're done for. Down the slide. <laughs> he was well positioned, wasn't he? That's not going to do much for your... Imagine somebody gets shot in your... That makes you flinch a bit. No? Oh, good thinking. Good thinking. Should I make a deal with this guy? Good job, 111. You want a Dorito? Hey, looks like you. Triangles are the easiest. Hey. Oh. Hey, yeah, why is he getting secret? Didn't he get a secret message? Maybe sweat can help. <laughs> oh, the umbrella, I get it, I get it. Ooh. 
I'm too slick. Oh, it's a trick. There's a trick to it. He's the only one who figured it out. She's cheating. The friend knew the game that was coming. There's someone getting secret messages. That's very brave. I'd keep it forever. I'd never break it. Ooh. See, she's doing him a favor. Although there's only a minute left, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> Meanwhile, anybody looking over at him is probably going, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> They're all doing it now. How's your umbrella going? Will it just come out? Gotta take a chance. Yeah! The only person to do an umbrella. No, uh, it's it's I've I've got it, dude. Oh shit! Oh, he tried. He tried. You gotta take your chances, you know. What's he gonna? What's he gonna do? The the rest of them should have jumped on the the other people with the guns. Total revolution. You're done for, dude. Just a kid. Do you want to upgrade yourself to a square? No, oh, it's over. So, we got game two. This game's all about removing a shape from a cookie. You know? Uh, within a certain time limit and the more complicated the shape the uh the more screwed you are i think four five six is the only one who got a, an umbrella who, who actually got it got it out we got it introduced to a new woman this episode at least i think she's new she might have been in the other two episodes and i just didn't notice her but she's very chatty she's very talkative she's very in your face and don't you go watch her poo, dude, you perv. She snuck in her cigarettes and her lighter, and it wasn't the fact that she snuck in the cigarettes, it was the fact that she snuck in the lighter that played in um, a big, big part of game two, because she was able to heat up the little needle, and that was able to burn through the, the shape much quicker than normal. And now she's in the good books of the the criminal guy, I'll call him. So they're closer to being a team. Also, the guy who isn't the main guy's brother, he knew. He knew what game was coming. He didn't know no, but he had a big instinct, big big inkling. He knew what shape to pick. And he didn't tell. He didn't tell four, five, six. He could have. When four five six picked umbrella, he was like, "Uh, yeah, you, you sure you want to? Sure you want to pick that one in particular?" So there needs to be more communication. People can't just be in it for themselves. If we're gonna be a team. We gotta share information. You know, what would have been better in this situation is for us all to go into the easiest shape. If we know exactly what the game was going to be, and there also seems to be a di another guy, one one one, who got like messages in his in his cookie, telling them what the game was going to be, the honeycomb game. We might have to pay more attention to that. Have we seen him in the first two games? Who is he? What's going on with that guy? Also, we got undercover cop. He was just trying to make his life as a circle. He's screwing up because he doesn't know what he's doing. But now, maybe... Maybe he can pretend to be a square? 
because nobody knows anybody else's identity, right? Like none of the other shapes or, you know, the, the people know who any anybody else is because they're not allowed to take off their masks. So he could easily swap. Whoop. Now I'm, now I'm in charge. So I think he could do that swap. But can he really? How does he... Like he can do it visually, but can he get... He can't get into a new room. Because he's only got the keys for... Circle Man room? I don't know. I'll think more about that for next episode. And we got the girl who smuggled in a knife. The smartest thing she did was in the last episode, she didn't get gassed. So she was able to... When they were picking her pockets, she was able to pick them back. And maybe that's the only reason they made her a pickpocket, so she could do that in this episode. And then she went up into the vents! To see what they were preparing. Oh, imagine if we could do that for every game. Get a bit of a head, heads up on it. So, I think everybody that we know survived that game. And on to game three. There's six in total, right? I'm not sure how many are left. I guess we'll find that out in the start of the next episode. There's a lot of mysterious stuff going on. I presume we won't be going back to the mainland until the game is over. Will that guy's battery survive on his phone? And you see, what's his plan? Is he going to make a move at some point? Yeah, it's all curious. I'm su more surprised that like 184 people came back. Like at least 80 something of the people who voted to go home decided to come back. Like obviously the hundred who voted to stay, they're going to vote to come back, but you know, a significant number changed their minds. Another game, though, now yes it was unfair, depending on which shape you picked. Everybody did not have an equal chance of surviving. Unless it was a trick to certain shapes, you know, like licking one would make it super easy and, you know, throwing another in the air would make it super easy or, you know, there's a there's a circle on the wall here, you can just, you know, you can just take it out straight away. But every single person in that game could have survived. The same as the first game. We could have 456 players still alive going into game three. It hasn't been the case where people have come up against each other yet, and I'm curious if that's ever going to be the case. Where it matters whether you're on one team or another team. So, we'll see. We'll see. That was episode three. Thank you for joining me, and come back soon for episode four. And, uh, yeah, I probably would have died already, is my guess. I'd be like, ooh, with an umbrella. Shit. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>